angle good? Hey guys, welcome back to S and A. My name is A and I make videos with my best friend S and this is our channel. So we post a lifestyle content and we would really, really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button um, if you're interested in seeing our content. Today's video is my first ever story time on this channel. I'll basically be talking about my volleyball journey and that sounds so cringy when I say it like that but basically I'm just gonna be talking about how I started playing volleyball what it like took me to get here things like that <laughs> I feel kind of awkward all right to give you a little bit of background information I've been playing volleyball for about a year and it doesn't sound like much it's been a long ride. It doesn't sound long. Like, one year doesn't sound long, but like... I don't know, it feels really long. This all started, like, the whole, like, volleyball journey. I'm not... This isn't technically part of it, but it's kind of like a little origin story, I guess. So, I think when I was in second grade... I'm in seventh grade now, but when I was in second grade, S, um, her sister, she has a sister who is now in ninth grade. Back then, you know, she was in third she was in fourth grade so that's when she started playing volleyball and so I would always like come to her house and like I would see her sister playing volleyball and things like that so we would sometimes go and play with her as had already had some experience with volleyball she was way better than me back when we started like I didn't even know how to like I don't I didn't even know how to pass like I didn't know how to do anything and so I was just, I was just kind of going with the flow, but like, I didn't really think much of it at the time. I was just like, this is something that I'm just, eh. you know, like, and I wouldn't be playing it that often either. So I don't know, maybe I'd play back then. I didn't really play that much, but you know, I did play a couple times here and there for the past, like for those years that, um, you know, they played and I didn't, you know, again, I was absolutely horrible before like last year. I don't, I, I think the one thing that I knew was that you had to hold your hand like this when you passed, and even then I wasn't a very good passer, I was a horrible passer. Um, basically I had no real knowledge of volleyball, like the game itself, I just knew you pass. That's how you play volleyball, play like that and there's a volleyball. That's it. Before I actually started playing like competitively, I guess, I started last year in fall 2019. So my I, I always switched around with sports when I was younger I didn't really stick to one um I did ice skating I did swimming and I still do swimming just not competitive um tennis things like that I just always switched around my dad saw that you know as his sister was playing volleyball and you know it was something that I never tried before I actually worked at it and like actually practiced it and put like you know some effort into it so he saw this thing where, you know, it's like one of those volleyball, volleyball like clubs or class. So basically in the next few seconds, I tried to explain what recreational volleyball is and fail. So basically what it is, is that everyone gets equal play time. It's not competitive and it's just a lesson or class to just learn the basics of volleyball. So I went to that and when I first went in there, I was extremely scared. I thought that everyone would be like, you know, the same place where I was. But I mean, a lot of the kids were doing it for like a couple years or so. Actually, one of my other friends was also doing it. Um, but she had done it for like <laughs> the past year too. So she had more um, knowledge about volleyball than I did. So, you know, she was, she did it. And like, there were some other kids from my school that were doing it. And so I was just there. I didn't, I didn't know anything. Like <laughs> I thought, I thought it would give me some sort of edge because I thought everyone was going to start exactly where I was, which is totally blinded of me, but that's just how I thought. The thing is, they did know. They did know a lot more than I did. Like, some of the some of the people that I played with were, like, extremely, like, really, really good and, like, not competitive level, but they were really close to that place. And so, like, I was kind of scared. Like, I saw them and I was like, oh, gosh. So, I started and I was the worst um, on my team. And I pretty much, I didn't know how to pass, I didn't know how to set, I didn't know how to hit, and I didn't know how to serve. I definitely did not know how to serve. Um, so you're going to see that as like a common topic because I was, I was never like a perfect server. I think that was always my weakness, my serving. Even now, 
um, I'm not the perfect server. So yeah, so that's basically how it's all started. I went to that class for two months. It was a two month thing. So I think I started around August and it ended around like October. That two months thing kind of gave me all like the information that I ever needed to like actually start. So I know I learned how to set. I mean, obviously I wasn't like perfect. I wasn't even like close to being like good at all, but like I was okay. Um, so I knew how to like set, I knew how to serve, even though I wasn't very good at it. At the end, I ended up being like pretty okay for that level. That's very important for that level. I was okay. Not for the next levels. Um, so I was okay with that. And then hitting, we didn't really work on hitting um, in that class. So I was just, I didn't really know anything about that. But moving on from that, it had been two months. I was ready. After I went into a club volleyball. So me and S play club volleyball and we played for a place near our area. It's a little bit different than what everybody else was doing, but we thought, like, I thought this would give me, like, a fresh start, you know. So I went and I tried out for that place. Me and S did, both of us. And if you saw our Bake With Us video, you saw that we were wearing, like, the, uh, the shirts for our club volleyball place. So that was when we were, like, playing club volleyball. It's actually been a while since then, but yeah. We play, I went there and I, <laughs> Was a little I thought I was gonna be like really good. I thought I was gonna be like the top thing. Um I would say I wasn't like super overconfident, but I felt like I had the handle on it. I was in for a rude awakening. So I did make the team. Um for the place that we were playing for, they were level. So there were two different things. So I I think it was um I started playing when I was like eleven. Um so it was eleven silver and there was eleven blue. And keep a note that I was, I was young for my like grade level. So while I was supposed to be in like fifth grade, I was in sixth grade. So yeah, very good. So S made the 11 silver and I made 11 blue. And at this time I didn't really care. And I still don't think I would care because it doesn't really matter for me. I mean, it's just a game, it's just volleyball. I understood I loved it and stuff, but I wasn't going to take it too seriously. So again, I just played that season and I think that was like a really fun season. Again, I started off um, not very good, um, especially with my serving because in the recreational volleyball, you can serve up to any line. So you can serve up, up to the 10 feet line and you can serve all the way back. You know, there is really no like necessary place where you have to serve. Um, so that was working in my head. So I was like, okay, yeah, I got the handle. But then when I went to club volleyball, I went to serve at the very back because that's what real volleyball is. You have to serve at the back. You don't get to serve anywhere. Like, and have a line, you can't like serve anywhere there. So you had to serve at the very back. So there I was. I had to serve at the very back. I did think that I had a little bit more of handle on things this season though, because even if that I wasn't like great, I still felt pretty good and I did I I was really good at passing actually um I had a really good grip on passing I was a pretty good hitter and I wasn't really a setter but in 11s volleyball you didn't really have to set a ball to like the hitter you could just pass it so I just passed it even though I wasn't really a setter so that's how that season went I think a lot of development happened in that like I went from you know absolutely sucking to like being a eh volleyball player like not an amp but like a okay volleyball player like a goodish volleyball player so that's where I left off um and then corona struck and that just left a big mess because I didn't play for like a couple months um we were all in quarantine you know you didn't really do anything so then it started back up in the summer and I was still like I still had a lot of my old skills I did you know kind of stumble on a little bit of things but I went over that it was fine so I ended up being okay when I left the season okay so now moving on to actually this season <laughs> so I started school volleyball and it's been a weird time <laughs> I tried out and there were extremely extremely good players like they were amazing like amazing <laughs> I ended up making the cut barely. I was barely, I made it. Like 
I didn't really know that much. I mean, I thought I really was like good and I was going to be great, but like everyone was so good and it really did shake me a little bit, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. So that leaves us off to where I am now. I have definitely been getting better, at least in my opinion. I've been getting better. I mean, the thing is when we switch, um, basically we started off when in all of my previous things, I'm talking recreational volleyball, club volleyball, all those things, we could use like soft balls. And if you don't know the difference or you just don't know what, like, you don't know how to volleyball, that's fine. So basically when you're under 12 years old or you're under like a certain grade, you play with soft balls, which are a lot less harder, like, you know, heavier, I guess, than the hard balls that are actually used for real volleyball. So I was practicing with that all this time. And all of a sudden, we had to go and play with real hard volleyballs. And I, at first, I wasn't bad, okay? So first I could, I could serve, okay, <laughs> that's why. I wasn't a very good server, and I didn't really get a lot of balls over. But it wasn't as bad as it went to be. Um, and this just happened, like, a couple weeks ago, to be honest with you guys. Like, this wasn't, this wasn't, like, a long time ago. This was very recent. So I wasn't a very good server, and I, and eventually, once I made the team, I just didn't like I didn't get any ball over. Like it was horrible. Um, but until like a couple like weeks ago, like two weeks ago, like maybe I don't even know, like one or two weeks ago, I started getting a handle on things. I could serve the ball over, and again, it wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be. But I'm working really hard, and I'm really focused on trying to get better. And I think it's going to work out. Um, yeah, so moral of the story, like, that's that's pretty much where I'm left off now. Um, I'm sorry if that wasn't as detailed as you wanted it to be, but I did have to leave it all out because then this would be a, would literally be an hour long and no one has time for that. Um, that's just the brief summary of what I can give you guys about my volleyball journey so far. There were lots of ups and downs, and right now I'm at this space where I'm just in the middle. It's not perfect, but it's not horrible. It's... It's getting places. I think the biggest thing for me right now is to just focus on getting better and not compare myself to other people because that was a big part of like why I wasn't so good because if you keep comparing yourself to people then you're never going to get better because you're going to be in that constant state where you're like what if I'm not good enough to because that's how you get better. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm just trying to get better. You know that's why I've been kind of busy lately <laughs> just you know working. Uh, on volleyball school things like that all right guys so that was my video for today i really really hope you enjoyed that i know it was kind of a weird video i know i haven't really done any story times before so <laughs> yeah that was my first story time and i really hope you enjoyed please leave it a like if you learned something or if you're just happy to hear my story all right bye guys i'll see you guys next time